first is that uh, this is very authoritative. I would say the most authoritative summit in the world. Most authoritative, more authoritative, at least than, for example, UN, because it uh, can decide, it can make, uh, make decisions, and it can implement decisions. So this is the group of the world leaders, the most powerful economists and all that. So authoritative and respected summit. Can you imagine the war criminal, the man who started this cruel war against the neighboring country, a blame of the thousands of deaths of Ukrainian civilians and tens of thousands of deaths of his own citizens on this war, a, a, a guilty of uh, war crimes, can attend the summit of so respected people and leaders, world leaders. I cannot even imagine this. Just, I, I cannot put it into my head because like, like, can you imagine Hitler attending G20 after the Second World War? No one can imagine this because his place was in Nuremberg. So Putin's place is in Hague, not in Bali. That's my, my personal view on that. Uh, and uh, after, after, after all, you know, the impact of this war onto every goal on the agenda of G20 is so huge, you cannot just ignore it now. It's energy security, it's food security, it's peace and stability, it's uh, whatever transition, it's world health architecture, because not, not now, now everything is, is, is just collapsed, all that, in this region. What COVID? No, nobody remembers what it is now in Ukraine and in, in Europe also, because the people are just, you know, messing around. So how can you, I mean, have a summit not taking into account the situation in Ukraine and all the consequences and all the influences and all that stuff? So uh, that's another, another point. And the third point is, you see, I understand what, what, what many world leaders say, that if this guy goes, I would not want to sit near him. So I would not come. So I think it would be like, I don't know, maybe, 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 maybe. It's not about inviting him or not inviting. It's about his attendance or not. You know, there are a few choices of, uh, a few scenarios of that. Maybe one scenario would mean G20 minus one. Another scenario could mean G20 minus 10, maybe. But maybe there is a good scenario G20 minus one plus one. Ukraine. No, not necessarily. No, Ukraine will be like a, uh, like, a, I would love to see Ukraine like an observer, like a visitor, like a guest right, on this. I would love this. And uh, I'm sure that my president will go and attend like a guest, right? But I mean, minus one plus one. I mean, Russian economy now is deteriorating so fast. And uh, it, it, up to, to the time of the summit, maybe it's, it will be like a default state. So what economic influence can it have during the summit? Maybe we can think about another country replacing it in G20 to, to remain in G20, right? Maybe, I don't know what country, I just didn't calculate this, but there's a lot of countries uh, like uh, with dignity and proud nations and uh, peaceful nations that can replace, right? It's my fantasy, but it's, it's not my position of my state or something, but it's my fantasy, but I would love to, to see this. Yeah, I don't think Russia even, it doesn't deserve to attend any authoritative and respected forum. But I think that even uh, in terms of economy, it would not have the, the share in these uh, uh, organizations. It will be like small and weak and default, you know. It's failed nation now, I think. Failed state. Medcom.id, a part of Media Group Network. I am the aduk aduk jadi cair. Seriously, the aduk kayaknya. Oh, perlu luar negeri gimana ya ini demi kemajuan bangsa Indonesia? Isu kebangkitan PKI ini dihentikan. Ah. 
medcom.id, a part of Media Group News.